I mean, I'm thrilled by so much of this festival, but one of the highlights is this possibility of uh, commissioning uh, Latin American composers that in their creation uh, melt worlds and having their music being played by the musicians of El Sistema who can turn on a dime from playing perfectly well uh, classical music into bringing in all the native roots of these composers. Esteban Benzekri, he writes incredibly well-crafted, intricate, filigree kind of music, very, uh, very, very um, refined ear, and he's developing into an interesting voice. Benzekri, for me, is a master of the colors. He's a master of, of how to paint, you know, everything in the music that you can see and you can feel. Enrico Chapella is incredibly different than, than uh, Ben Zekri. He's, I think he has the spirit of revueltas that we were talking about. He, he's really wild, wild in his vision, in his um, um, uh, obsessiveness. So it's this mixture of incredibly delirious mind, but also scientifically obsessive. Chapella is a very talented composer. People easily connect with the music. Not because it's easy music, it's because the, the energy of the music. And then we have two, two of the musicians and composers that I most admire in my life, Danilo Perez and Gonzalo Rubalcaba. Danilo, he played piano for the Dizzy Gillespie band. I cannot even begin to imagine what it means you know, to be taken by Dizzy Gillespie and cutting your teeth there. He reminds me of the effect that Mozart has on me, on the, like if you put Mozart next to some contemporary of Mozart, you know, the, let's say you hear first the contemporary of Mozart piece and it's fine, but then when Mozart comes it's as if somebody has turned on the light in the room and says, ah, I, now I can see. So with Danilo, his refinement of ear and spirit is so intense that that he brings into reality things that are hidden in other non-real worlds. And Rubalcaba, he started as a young Liszt, as a young Franz Liszt, I mean, the speediest, flashiest uh, pianist on earth. <laughs> and steadily he grew into this deep, deep, deep musician that takes challenges on so many directions. He's on a musical and spiritual search that, you know, that took at least 60 years, but in him it's only like 20 years. And it's phenomenal to see this ability to go deep for somebody that could have stayed in that state of temptation and flashiness. This new generation of composers you know, are giving, and they are all different. That is why, you know, it's important, you know, you see, yeah, a lot of new names, but all of them, all of them have their own uh, style, but always thinking in the soul of the Americas. Mm -hmm. 